My all time, all time favorite food is It's Ashley here with another video about photography, lifestyle, and more. I am here today to show you a few facts about me that you may not know, and if you know me, you may know, and if you don't know me, you're going to know. I'm glad that all fit in one sentence. <laughs> so being new here on this channel, I want to share with you a few fun things that I want you to know. So let's get into it. Number one. I am a photographer and I want to eventually become a film director. Right now I love editorial photography and I love conceptual photography style stuff. So I love dabbling into, you know, creating photography that is super type magazine type feel and that's what I'm going towards now. And I love family photography, I love couple photography which I do all the time. But what I want to go towards and what my passion is is editorial type and that's what I'm working on. Also, I want to be a film director one day. Right now I am doing a project called My Good Side Project that is helping me to kind of get a feel of, you know, shooting and, you know, directing a project for myself, which I want to eventually continue in the future. So I want to do that and I'm excited about the journey of learning that. I'm a student right now. I'm soaking in all the information and that's how I'm going to be able to grow in that new chapter of my life. Number two, I am 26 years old and I live in Illinois. I am a 90s kid, okay? I was born in 1993 and hands down, that is the best era to have been born in. I'm sorry, sorry, that is, sorry, not sorry. It's the best era. 90s had the fashion, we had the culture, we had all of that. And even though I was growing up in it, I was still able to say I'm in the 90s, you know what I mean? So. It was an amazing, you know, time to be in with the, the shows, like all of that on Nickelodeon. Then you got Disney Channel, you got Lizzie McGuire, That's So Raven. I mean, which that led into the early 2000s for sure. But it was just a really good time, even though I was a child, you know, and I wasn't full grown, but it was great. And I also live in Illinois. I love Chicago, the city. I think it's a beautiful place. Yes, a lot of people talk about it, but I love it. And I want to influence people here in Chicago. Number, whoa, number three. <laughs> My all time, all time favorite food is pizza. But my all-time least favorite food is chocolate. Now I know, I know, y'all may revoke my black heart because I said I don't like chocolate, but I just don't. It's not the best. When I was a child, I used to eat chocolate like it was water. Like my mom would give me chocolate, like give me chocolate cake, chocolate milk, and I loved it so much. My taste buds just tapped out. They were like we're done you're not eating no more chocolate so i think that's what happened i ate it so much as a child that now as a grown adult i'm like nah i don't like it at all every once in a while and that's probably like every five years i'll probably get a slice of chocolate cake from portillo's because if i was to go back and be a chocolate eater that cake right there I know it's a fast food place, but it's kind of good. It really is good. It's super moist. It's not dry. And they really know what they're doing over there at Portillo's with that chocolate cake. So that's the only, like, maybe in five years I'll try it again. But I just don't like chocolate. But I love pizza. I think the best. Now, I'm from Chicago where pizza is for real. I'm going to say my opinion, but I know you may have a different one. My favorite is Giordano's Pizza. And I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to try and argue or anything. I'm going to leave it there. Number four, I am a middle child of three girls. So I have an older sister and then I have a younger sister. And I'm smack dab in the middle. We were all born in the 90s. So we're kind of stair step. And I'm so thankful for my sisters. You know, they they are my best friends. And I love them to this day. Maybe one day they'll show up on this show, you never know. But I love them and I'm so grateful for them. Number five, my all-time favorite movie is nothing because it's so hard to choose. Especially someone that loves films, 
Sometimes I go into a theater and I watch a film and I'm looking at composition. I'm looking how they panned. I'm looking how they how they tilted their camera. I'm looking at the the filter or the coloring of the video or the movie and it so I'm studying it also. So I love movies, but if I could name about three and that would encompass like a cartoon and different genres, I would say The Dark Knight with Heath Ledger, like the Joker that was one of the best performances I've ever seen. I would say Coco, that's a more recent one. If you know me, my friends, they know I will cry to Coco every time it comes on. And I don't really always cry, but that movie right there is my number two. Number three, I would probably say The Wood. That's just an all time classic black movie. If you haven't seen it, Pretty sure it's on on demand. You can buy it. You can rent it. But it's so many more that I just don't even know how to inc like put them all in one video. And maybe that'll be a separate video because I love movies. Oh, and another current one before I get off of this fact is When They See Us, directed by Ava DuVernay. Oh my goodness! If you have not seen that, I know it was a limited series, but I believe it's still on Netflix just check that movie it was a, a four part, part series <sighs> i i have no words it, it left me speechless it talks about basically how black people in the community are seen unfortunately sometimes we're seen as monsters as dogs and it talks about police brutality and police discrimination it's a whole lot of stuff in there but it's amazing it's amazing i super suggest you to watch it or find out how to watch it number six I used to be a devoted dog collector. When I was a child, I loved stuffed animals and I still do. I have one now. <laughs> um, I loved American Girl dolls. And this is for the advanced people. I love Ashton Drake dolls. Now those are the ones that are real life dolls that smell like babies and they're past $100. They're more than $100, like $200, $300, $400 because they're super realistic. So I still have that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give that away. And I have an American Girl doll. Definitely want to probably give that away. But I used to love it. It was so fun. And I would collect them and put them in my bed, on top of my bed. And my grandmother, she gave me this big tiger. And it used to sit on my bed. And that was one of my favorite stuffed animals. But yeah, I... I yeah, I used to collect. I used to collect heavily. But now I'm less than that. And it's down to, I think, one. <laughs> Number seven, I love glasses. Now, these are amazing. I love these. I love collecting them and I want some more. I think they are super cool and you can wear them. I need them for both prescription to see and I need them both for fashion because I love specs. One of my favorite places to go is warbyparker.com. They're amazing. Their store is awesome. And that's one of my favorite places to buy glasses. And the last one, number eight. I love Jesus. I'm a Christian and I follow the ways of Jesus Christ, which is my savior. My journey with him has been so sweet, has been so cool, has been life changing. And that's what I wanna talk about in another video, which is a part of my, my testimony. And I love him. Like, that's it. <laughs> Alright guys, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for sitting here and watching and tuning in to this video. Until next time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It takes only two seconds and you'll always get notifications when I make a new video. Thank you so much and until next time, see you.